I understand. I understand. I understand. Absolutely. What? Is he an expert? Well, then, Mr. Abrams, why should we have to... You didn't have these questions two years ago. But the company is still the same, Mr. Mr. Abrams. But we should be capitalizing on the weaknesses, sir. If anything, we should be putting more money in. What about a bridge loan? Well, thank you. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Yes, yes, absolutely. You too, sir. the loan angle? Uh, yes. And he gave me a lecture about throwing good money after bad. Thanks. What are you doing? I'm sending him a virus. No, you're not. No, you are not. He's gonna know it was you, and then what? Huh? You know, I'm out of dials at this point, okay? I have called everybody. Everybody! Even Stanley. How is Stanley? I don't know, because he won't return my call. You should let me call Stanley. Oh, well, I would have, Josh, except you're allergic to the phone. After all we've done for him, too. What huh? have we done for him? What have we done for him, Hey, Josh? come on. He's 21. He makes his own decisions, okay? Come on. So things are a little tight. Tight? Josh, things are a little worse than tight, Josh. A little worse. Yeah? How much do we need? 150, at least. Wow. Asshole. Dad, are you going to get that? Ah, uh, OK, sorry. Yeah. So what's going on? <laughs> what's usually going on this time of night, Jeff? Come on, I'm putting Danny to bed. What are you doing? We're having some coffee. I thought you were off tonight. All right, swap shifts. So if you need me, call, OK? All right, thanks a lot. Now, can I put my son back to bed? All right. Hey, what kind of story are you telling him? Are you eating a donut? Excuse me? I believe you would ask me such a thing. Come on, I can smell the sugar from here. All right, I can't believe your wife lets you eat that stuff. Look, I got I to go, all right? Nighty night. All right, see you. So, all right. Where were we? Frank was packing up his office. Right, OK. So Frank knows the business is doomed. And as you can well imagine, things look pretty bad. So 
little early for cocktails, isn't it? Not really. I always drink at funerals. So that's it. I mean, it was just game over. Turn off the light, clean out the desk. What do I tell my kid? Much. Everything else is in storage. I just don't understand how they can simply kick you out. Aren't there laws against this? They didn't kick me out, Mom. I told you the building has structural problems. And besides, it's only for three or four months. But what are all the other tenants doing? I don't know. Maybe they got lawyers. Because I'm going to go upstairs and unpack. I'm beat. Okay? Why can't I call him from the office? Because I think something's wrong. You can be late for once. He's our only son. Have some more coffee. I've had enough, sir. Francis, your breakfast is ready. And your father has to leave. I'm coming. I'm not really hungry, Mom. How'd you sleep? Not so good. What's with the birds? They're louder than traffic. This is what happens when you live in the city too long. You'd rather listen to sirens than to songbirds. They're crows, Mom. They're not songbirds. So, tell us what's going on. There's nothing to tell. Look, I don't want to turn this into a federal case, all right? Are you sure they weren't looking for an excuse to turn the buildings into condos? Well, that would be illegal, Dad. That doesn't mean they won't still try to screw you, you know? It's under control. All right. Trying to push. Well, how's the work? And Josh? He's fine. Hmm. Well, I guess everything's fine. In that case, I can go to work. Uh, not so fast, honey. But it's weeks since you had a good breakfast. Mom, this isn't breakfast. This is a heart attack waiting to happen. Frank, please just enjoy it, will you? You know, I gotta go. You're not going anywhere until you eat. You know breakfast is the most important meal. You know, it looks great, Mom, but I'm gonna be late for my meeting, so... You know what? I can save this and I can have it for dinner. How about that? Well, at least take the toast. You can eat it on the train. It's a breakfast meeting, Mom. Uh, enough! I'll drop you at the station. So how was Italy? Not bad. It's tiring being on the road. So let me get this straight. You're complaining about traveling first class to Milan and staying in a five-star hotel. Things are never what they seem, Frank. You of all people should know that. Oh, God. Eating like that is going to kill you. You know that, don't you? That may not be such a bad option. Ooh. So what's eating you? Nothing, really. You sure? Parents okay? Mm-hmm. How's business? Good. Mm -hmm. Busy. Josh? He's fine. Is that what he told me? You talked to Josh? 
I ran to him last week. He told me the lights are out. He said he hasn't spoken to you in over a month. Hey, come on. Every millionaire goes bust at least once in their life. You're gonna be fine. You know how many resumes I've sent out? Yeah, well, you're not alone. There's a lot of people feeling the pain. Yeah, well, I don't need sympathy. I need work. Any work. <clears throat> I was thinking maybe you had something. Well, sure, you know, if I had something, but... Well, what about marketing help? You know, Josh and I could build you a website. I don't think Josh wants to talk to you right now. And even if he did, when my customers want something, they pick up the phone and call. Not forever, they won't. Web is the future. Mm, well, then you talk to me when that happens. In the meantime, there's too many boarded up websites out there. You know, it's too bad you can't do something with all that junk. Hmm? Calm you down. Who said I need to calm you down? I just gotta get back in the game. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Dad, so what's this story about? What do you think it's about? Is this one of your lesson stories? No, absolutely not. This is pure, pure action adventure. And there's also a, a wizard thrown in. Dad, how come Sal smokes pot? I never said Sal smoked pot. I said he smoked a water pipe. I bet you smoked pot. Never. All right, come on, let's get you. Give me that thing. All right. All right. So, Sal and Frank were playing chess. And Sal says to Frank. It's a temporary setback. Living at home is a little more than a temporary setback. Will you cut it out, Sal? Jesus, you know, you're stinking on my clothes. You just need to think smarter and work harder. Think smarter. You're talking to me about working harder and smarter? Have you even made a sale this week? That's not the point. Oh, really? Well, then maybe that's where I went wrong, because I thought business was about making money. Well, I must be making some, Frankie. After all, my lights are still on. So which one of us is the schmuck, huh? We didn't talk this way a year ago. Well, why would I talk? Your head was so swollen, your ears were pinched shut. Well, there goes your night. Oh, uh, listen. What do you see when you, when you look around this place, Frankie, huh? An empty place. That's why you crashed and burned, Frankie. You don't see beauty in anything. All you see is a fast buck. Investors don't lend for beauty. Checkmate. You ought to pay more attention to the game. BG, hmm. when's the last time you got laid, huh? on this chessboard, so you were here. <laughs> All right, this is for you, and this goes in the garbage. Great. Yeah. Open it up. It's not gonna bite you. Go ahead. What? In search of self? What, are you kidding? You know I hate this. Self-help crap. It's all fortune cookie nonsense. And you know, this is blank, completely blank. Do you expect someone else to write your life story? Legend has it that the wood from that pen is from Noah's Ark. You expect me to believe that? Didn't you hear me say it was a legend? <sighs> Look, I know my life story, okay? I'm living at home. I'm on the verge of a midlife crisis. I'm not even old enough to have. I got no job, no cash. And I just lost a chess game to a pothead. Hey, you're not old enough nor wise enough to have a midlife crisis. All right, enough, Sal. All right, listen, wait a second. Just wait a second. Listen, wait a second. I want you to meet a friend of mine. She's a wizard. She's got the eyes. 
What are you, a Zen master now? Go and see him. Okay. You want to hit? No, I don't. You know, Sal, you ought to lay off the smoke. You're starting to rot your brain. the weather or what? Oh, I thought you were asleep. No, 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 no. I was just resting. Uh, where have you been? <sighs> just working. Hey, did the case settle? Oh, thank God they blinked. I hated taking that one to trial. Hmm. Mom in bed? Yeah, she left some uh, pot roast on the stool for you. I ate. Want me to put it away? No, no, I'll take care of it. I might have just another little fork full. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just a busy day. I think I'm going to call it a day. How's work? Fine. Fine. You want to watch the weather? No, no. You can tell me in the morning. You're not upset about moving back home, are you? Because you shouldn't be. I mean, I, I was at home all through law school. It's no big deal. I appreciate that. It's the truth. Your mother and I like having you here, so stay as long as you like. But just don't worry so much and eat your mother's cooking, okay? I will, yeah, but seriously, she's got to lay off the red meat and the fat. I mean, that stuff will kill us. You don't look like you're going to die to me. I'll see you in the morning. Everything's fine. Yeah. No problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, things are good. Mm -hmm. Time, there's too many boarded up websites out there. You know, it's too bad you can't do something with all that junk. <laughs> Let me know if I can help you find anything. Oh, uh, thanks. Uh, yeah, actually, I'm looking for Clara. Any reason in particular? Yeah, a friend of hers, a friend of mine, actually, uh, said that I should come see her. And what's your friend's name? Sal. Has a chess shop downtown. <laughs> then you must be Frank, and I must be Clara. Hi. Hi. So this is a, a shop you have here. What's with all the uh, <laughs> stuffed animals? My father was a taxidermist. I think I inherited his love for bringing the dead back to life. Oh, that's a little creepy, isn't it? Some people may think so. I, I just think it's unusual. Are you unusual? Not like Sal, if that's what you mean. So, have you known him long? Sal? Kind of. We met in Scotland about 326 years ago. Really? Well, you look great for your age. <laughs> So I guess that's why he calls you the wizard. The trick to life is to think young and not to always believe your eyes. And wizard, I don't know. But I can see things that other people can't. Like what, my underwear? 
I didn't mean that, but um, say since you brought it up, you're wearing white briefs. Okay. If you want, I, I could see deeper into your soul. I think we should uh, maybe not go that deep today. Don't worry, you have a good soul. I mean, you're a bit screwed up, but life does that to people. Especially when you're uh, unemployed. Did Sal tell you that? You do computers? Oh, so you've been talking to Sal? Oh, if you want to think that. Uh, so what happened? Even millionaires go bust once in their life. I mean, what? Uh, is that your dream, to be a millionaire? Why not? I mean, is there a problem being rich? I didn't say that. I, I just think that maybe it should be the ending and not the beginning. Um. Well, I better go. Yeah. Well, let me know if you need any help. Just for him. Hey, Sal, it's Frank. Frankie! Come on over, man. I'm here with Mike. No, I can't. I got a meeting. Hey, what is it with you in meetings? You're always going to a meeting. Do you actually do anything at these meetings? Listen, I just met your friend Clara. So what was that, like a fix-up? What, with Clara? No, your mother. No, Frankie, I wouldn't do that. Oh, you wouldn't, huh? No, Frankie. My mother's dead. Frankie! Hey, Frank, come on! Lost the sense of humor. So, you mean tell me how this job interview went, or what? Nothing said. I heard somebody else. I think, uh... Too old. Pretty soon age discrimination is gonna start at like 25. <laughs> Don't laugh, Frank. I needed that. Unlike you, I got a family to support. Oh, forget about it. It was a nowhere job. I got something much better. Yeah, that's what you said to me last time, and I'm back to drinking domestic. What do you blame me? What did I do? You and I both know a lot about advertising on the internet, right? So what? Nobody's gonna touch the web. What about food? Come on, people still gotta eat. What about the, the, the internet cafe idea? What, have you been talking to Stanley? Josh, you really wanna be worried about people coming up and uh, complaining about their french fries are cold and the network went down? I got something much better. Web boards. Web board? What the fuck is a web board? It's kinda like a billboard, except we use bankrupt websites and we put ads on them and call them web boards. We take dead.com sites and we're gonna turn them into advertising opportunities. <laughs> Where do you come up with these ideas? You don't laugh, look at this. I got the business plan right here. I think I can get this funded, Josh. When did you do this? Nights. It's mostly a cut and paste job, but it proves that we can capitalize on this. Now, I know you think it's bullshit, but if we at least just consider it? Hmm? You really think you can find someone stupid enough to fund this? Yeah, I do, actually. The numbers work. Equal partners? 60-40. Come on, friends. We're supposed to share things equally. It's my idea, Josh. What about startup cash? I'm working on that. I have a meeting set up with Abrams. And I sent it to a few other VCs as well. That's a nice toss. Yes, I'm Frank Costello to see Mr. Abrams. What? Frank Costello to see Mr. Abrams, please. Mr. Abrams? Mr. What? Costello. Mr. Costello is here to see you. Sure. 
He said to go back. Thanks. It's the first door on your left. Yeah, I... Listen, my boss wants me to ask if you want some coffee. Would you like some? Oh, no, no. Thank you. Oh, Thank good, you. because I don't get coffee. I can tell you where it is, though, if you change your mind. All righty, I'll keep that in mind. Hello, Frank. How's your father? Oh, he's fine, thanks. Please, sit. You look hot. How about some spring water? Sure, thanks. Did you know that coffee dehydrates you? It's as bad as alcohol? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, and, uh, people think that all liquids are the same, but nothing is ever what it seems. And I've seen it all. Go ahead, enjoy. Spring water, that's what flushes the pipes and keeps the piss pure. I'll bet yours is yellow. Piss should be clear. You drink eight glasses a day, watch the difference. You'll thank me. Hmm. I'd rather thank you for other things, Mr. Abrams. I haven't read your business plan yet. You mind walking me through it? Well, it's right there in front of you. I can, I can walk you through it quickly if you'd like. Um, Mr. Abrams, when you drive down the highway, what do you see? Traffic. That's right, traffic, sure. But uh, what else? I don't know, all sorts of things. Um, road signs, potholes, buildings. What about billboards? You ever see any billboards? Sure, too many. Yeah, lots of billboards. And it doesn't matter if the buildings are vacant or not, you still read the billboards because they're in your face. Now that's the model behind web boards. These bankrupt.com sites are like vacant buildings littering the superhighway. But they still get thousands of hits a day. It's prime advertising space, and web boards can make money both leasing and linking to these sites. That's the pitch. So what do you think? Would you, uh, like some more water? Maybe just the bathroom. vacation next week. You want to come and lay in the sun with me? No, I hate the beach. Too much time to reflect. Not me. The only time I'm going to leave it is to get a drink, a man, and some sleep. And in that order, your dad's in the conference room. Send me a postcard? Something topless? Well, only if they're real, Jane. <laughs> no, I, I don't think uh, my client will agree with that. Uh, look, can I call you back in about an hour? I've got somebody just come into the office. I want to have to talk to him. Right, it's okay. Hey, Dad. Anything wrong? No, no, everything's fine. I just wanted to talk to you about something. Mm -hmm. Well, make it fast. I've got a deposition in an hour, and I can't cancel it. Uh, I'm not really comfortable asking you this, but I'm kind of in a jam. Uh, I was wondering if I could maybe borrow some money. Well, you got some problems with the business, or what? No, that's fine. It's just some of the work got pushed back a quarter. You know how that is. Mm -hmm. How much do you need? Well, I was thinking maybe um, 5000 if that's okay. Mm -hmm. Frank, I tried calling your office. Does Mom know? Well, I'm not the one to tell her. I'm sorry. I didn't know what to say to you guys. It just, uh... It's hard admitting you're a fuck-up. Well, son, you are many things, but a fuck-up is not one. All right. I'll give you, uh, 4,000. Nobody gets everything they want. And I think, uh, 80% is pretty damn good. Now, when are you going to tell her? I was thinking maybe never. Never is too long. Think sooner. I mean, after all, it is your mother, you know. 
Was the story about the apartment bullshit too? Yes, but I'll get out as soon as I can. I know, I didn't mean that. The room is yours. All I'm asking is that you eat your mother's cooking. I mean, I know it's a little greasy, but... Oh. Maybe we can get her a nonstick frying pan. <laughs> All right. Thanks. And I'll get it back to you as soon as I can. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Not really. Well, there... There is one thing, but I don't think you'll understand, and I know Mom definitely won't. Well, maybe I'll surprise you. I met a wizard. A wizard? Yeah, actually, I met a she-wizard, and uh, I'm having dinner with her. I gave you money to have dinner with a she-wizard, huh? Well, come on, Dad, it's not like that. I mean, maybe... You know, maybe she can help me see better. Well, I think if you're having trouble with your eyes, you ought to see an eye doctor. Now get out of here before I change my mind. Will do. And thanks again. Sal did not tell me that you were a gentleman. Let me well, put this in some water. This is a great apartment you have here. Thank you. I love color. I love color and flowers. Here you go. Okay. Oh, I hope you like sushi. You know, actually, I don't, uh, I don't eat raw fish. Okay, I should have asked. Uh, well, we have dumplings, two kind of dumplings, and uh, there's seaweed salad, which is really good for you. And I've got some edamame, which is um, very good. And I'm going to show you how to eat it because you have to know how to eat it. You just put it in your mouth and then you suck out the beans. So, um, how long have you had your store for? Um, oh, about 10 years. Um, before that, I was um, a singer. Yeah? Mm hmm So what happened? Life. Mm. So now I sing in the shower, or at family weddings, or friends' weddings. Plus, you're a wizard. No, Sal says I'm a wizard, but I am a little psychic. Now, let me get this straight. Does that mean you know when the Knicks are going to win? <laughs> Still with the jokes. Huh? What? You know, it's a lot more scientific than that. Mm. Actually, for such important questions, um, I'd like to consult my work. Excuse me. Ta da! You gotta be kidding. No. See. You think this is crazy because you think this is just like a silly eight ball. But actually, it is a delivery system through which my energy passes. Mm. So if you want to ask a question, we have to have the, you know, the energy flow through both of us. So we, you know, maybe we just hold hands or something just for the energy, of oh, course, yeah. to flow, obviously. To, so you gotta get yeah, a little closer. A little bit closer. Okay, like that. Is that close enough? Yes, it's close. Just ask the question. Mm -hmm. uh, Will I get the money for web boards? Okay, now think about it. And the answer is... most likely. Really? How soon? So it has to be like a yes or no question. Oh, okay, will I get the money soon? Will he get the money for web boards soon? Yes! <laughs> Excellent. Um, okay, now it's my turn. Should you spend the night?
Hello. Yes, this is Webboards. Speaking. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I sent it to you last week. Hi, I'm supposed to meet Gene Williams. Uh, you know where I might find him? Are you Mr. Costello? Yes, yes. Wallet. <laughs> Wallet? Mr. Williams said you were to meet him in Steam Room. Have you been here before? No. Uh, steam Room? A black mud treatment? Opens up pores, takes out toxins? Sure, that's true. No, thank you. Door on the left, any locker. Thank you. The oak leaf treatment on house. Gene, you must be Frank. Find it okay? Uh, no problem. Thanks. I love the steam. Clears the pores and lungs. You don't mind meeting here, do you? Ah, beats having coffee at McDonald's. I steam every day. Been doing it for over 10 years. Like it? Not really, it makes me sweat. <laughs> Thanks, boys. So, I read your business plan. Not bad. You read it? Yes. According to my reading, you need about four, 450 to get this bird to fly. Think that'll do it? I know it. <laughs> Confidence. I like that. But now comes the tough stuff. Say my firm did give you the financing you're looking for. What makes your concept so unique. Me. It's my idea. No one else thought of it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. What stops a copycat? What stops someone from taking this idea, undercutting you, then blowing past you faster than shit through a goose? It's my plan. I bring the vision and the management. I can have a truckload of MBAs delivered to my doorstep by 9 a.m. No, make that 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. I don't understand. I mean, you read the business plan. You saw by reading it that there weren't any patents involved. I mean, <laughs> why bother even getting together? I wanted to meet my competition. Is this a joke? Not to me. I've been listening for a reason why I need you, and you haven't given me one. <laughs> How about the fact that it's my idea, and how about the fact that it cut me out would be completely unethical? Calm down, Frank. I'm not a lawyer, but I'm sure you know you have no claim to an idea. I deal in business, and business has only one rule. It's the golden rule. The guy with the gold rules. Look, I work hard on this idea, okay? You can't cut me out. You know, my father is an attorney. Courts are open to everyone, so be my guest. Well, there's another reason. I hope it's better than the others, Frank. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Excuse me, do, do you know if there's anyone who can help me? Well, it depends on what kind of help that you need. Sales help, please. Well, that would be me. And you are? Me? That's a long story. 
Why don't you tell me about this? Well, that, what, that? Yeah. Well, that set, that's, that's called uh, Florentine. The board is made of alabaster, and the pieces are uh, bronze and are gold and silver plated. It's just gorgeous. I think it would be perfect for my coffee table. Now, that would be a waste. I, I beg your pardon? He said, uh, do you play? No. I, I just thought it would be a wonderful conversation piece. I prefer conversations about sex. You know, I've had my eye on that set myself. Yeah. But I'm going to have to wait till I hit the lottery. How much is it? $6,700. Really? Mm -hmm. That much? I'd say that was cheap, lady. Couldn't you do a little bit better? I've seen it for less. Where? On the internet. Get out of my store! Well, you don't have to be rude. I was just asking about the price. Oh, for God's sakes. That's a hell of a way to make a sale, Sal. She'll be back. Well, she'll send her slave. Man, what makes you so sure? Because she's full of shit, that's why. No dot-com piece of shit sells for less than I do. So I met Clara. She's no wizard, Sal. Big deal, Frankie. Sal, she consults a bowling ball. We've had presidents who consulted astrologers. She's someone to talk to. Do you like to talk to her? Yeah, but it's not gonna work out. Why not? Because she likes sushi. Sal, raw fish? She's like a cannibal. She likes to eat it raw. It's every man's fantasy. No, it's a sign we're incompatible. You're not thinking straight, Frankie. Yeah, well, I don't know what to think. You know, I was at a meeting, this guy tells me to my face he's gonna steal my idea. Yeah, and the funny thing is, I didn't think my idea was good enough to steal. So what did you do? Well, what could I do? What could you do? This is what you could do, Frankie. Jesus, Sal, we put it down before somebody comes in. A guy like that needs to know that there are ethical ramifications to his actions. If a guy like that did something like that to me, I'd put one right in his back. Sal, you can't shoot people in the back, okay? It's like completely against the Geneva Convention. Did you ever hear a mustard gas? What? Guys like that are amoral. And they need to die an immoral death. Sal, seriously. Frank. Sal, Sal, Sal. Thanks. 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 You're sick. You know, you're a sick, you're sick, sick man. So what? We're all sick here. This is New York. It's not funny. Like, when are you going to realize that a man either has balls or goes through his life peeing in his pants? I could have had a heart attack. Your heart's fine. It's your mind that needs to be placed on life support. I'm not kidding. You know, I passed out in the steam room. You steam too long. So what? It happens. Probably my mother's cooking. See, you always have excuses. Now, have you started writing? What am I gonna write? I have nothing to write about. When are you gonna learn, Frank? Everyone has a story, even you. Check, right? What? Excuse me. My mother was just in here looking at this chess set. May I see it? What did I tell you, Frankie? Drinks are on me. Dad, I need to use the bathroom. You do that, and I will check on your mom. Everything OK? Oh, I want him out. How's the story going? <laughs> he's a tough critic. <laughs> Try and remember he's only 10. Going on 35. Can I get you anything? Yeah, whiskey and that leftover curry on the second shelf of the refrigerator. Really? Shelly went into labor when she had whiskey and Indian food. I hear sex does it. Dad, I'm ready. What happened to the girl I married? And so, about a week later, Josh and Frank went to see Mr. Abrams. What? I gotta go to the bathroom. What's the matter, Frank? Too much time to reflect. Hmm? Too much time on your hands just to reflect, staring at yourself in the mirror day after day. When is it gonna change, Frankie? When will it fucking change? <laughs> Su hermana es muy bonito, pero no tengo dinero. Tiene un problema con este. 
<laughs> um, I I don't know what what just happened, but um, uh, if you can hear me, um, please. Sure. Hi. Can I help you? Yeah. I'm Frank Costello. This is my associate, Josh Gilbert. We're here to see Mr. Abrams. I'll let him know that you're here. Great. Mr. Abrams, Mr. Costello, and Mr. Gilbert are here to see you. Sure. He said you could go right back. Thanks, love. Would either of you like some coffee? No. But if we do, we'll get it ourselves, won't we? Mr. Abrams. This is my partner, Josh Gilbert. Hi. Nice to meet you, Josh. Sid. <clears throat> How about some fresh spring water? Oh, I'm all set, thanks. And I've already had my eight glasses for the day, so. Well, then let's get to... The good news is that I decided to take a second look. Any idea why? It's simple. Venture capital runs on two rules. The first is that no one knows what the next Microsoft looks like. And the second is every new idea seems stupid. The Wright brothers had a stupid idea. And Edison had several. And the bad news? Well. I'm afraid it's too small for us. No problem. We'll just make it bigger. It's not that simple. And also, it's not quite what we're looking for. I'm sorry, but why are we here? I wanted to meet both brains before I give it to a group of private investors who do deals within your funding figures. They're willing to sit down. <sighs> Finally. Ugh. Thank God. God may not have anything to do with this. How about thanking me? Oh, you're absolutely right. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Abrams. Thank you so much. His name is Eugene Arnold. You call him at this number and use my name. Uh, just out of curiosity, what, what's the finder's fee if this goes down? Nothing this time, but next time I'll take your firstborn. Just joshing, Josh. <laughs> Just remember, we're not committing to anything. Just gonna hear him out, all right? Hi. I was gonna tell you the exact same thing. Hi. Good evening. Hi. We have reservations uh, with a party by the name of Eugene Arnold. You already arrived. If you follow me, I'll show you to his table. Great. I'm just gonna hear him out, all right? Josh, enough. <laughs> Come and join us, gentlemen. Thank you, Angela. Which one is Frank? I am. Uh, this is my partner, Josh Gilbert. I'm Eugene. Hi. And this is my cousin, Peter. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. And you. Please, sit down. I'm having the hangar steak, and Peter went for the porterhouse. Either one's a blue chip. Well, I guess I'll have the hangar then. Uh, how about you, Josh? Uh, maybe just a piece of fish for me. Thanks. Josh, we're in a steakhouse. Thank you, Frank. I wasn't aware of that. Don't tell me you're worried about your cholesterol. <laughs> maybe just a heart attack. You know, when I was in college during the summer, I used to work at a fish processing plant. And some of the fish that came in off the boats had so much cancer from the PCBs by the time we cut all the tumors off the fish, there was only enough left for fish cakes. Well, perhaps the shrimp scampi would be a good compromise. Yeah, that would be fine. And Richie, pour a Shiraz for the carnivore and a Pinot Grigio for Josh. So, you met with Abrams? Yes, and he said you liked the plan, and he thought there might be a possible fit. That's true. 
But to be perfectly honest, Frank, I don't know much about the internet. All my investments have been in old economy businesses, but Abrams thinks I need to diversify. Well, you know, it's true the internet has taken quite a hit, but what, what industry hasn't? You know, I, I still think there's a lot of upside potential, and let's face it, it's sexier than most. It also offers more risk. Well, the only way I know to avoid risk is to invest in T-bills. Well, I never said I was adverse to risk. I just prefer to minimize it. Well, I think we've addressed that concern by offering very conservative growth projections. You did. And it's one of the reasons your plan caught my eye. I also happen to think your idea has potential. Although, <laughs> what do I know? My kids are glued to those chat rooms, and I can't even turn on a computer. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Peter? Well, I understand the model, but do you think it'll fly? Well, flight's a funny thing, Josh. I mean, can man fly? Some say yes, some say no. If I'm on an airplane five miles up, I think that I can fly, but I know that I need a plane and a pilot. So when you ask me if it can fly, I need to know first if your plane is airworthy, and secondly, if you two are good pilots. Fair enough. So what do we have to do to make you say yes to these questions? Did Abrams tell you what type of businesses I like to invest in? We didn't get that far. Waste management. Solid, liquid, and nuclear. You know why? Because America is a disposable society. We throw out more trash than half the world. That makes for profit margins as lucrative as bottled water. Well, now, nothing is as lucrative as bottled water. I mean, not, not gasoline, not even fancy coffee. Yeah, whatever, Johnny. And like us, you also deal in garbage. I don't think I follow. I'm not sure I do either. You wrote the plan, didn't you? Yes, but I don't recall anything about garbage in it. Well, tell us what you two know about garbage. Well, I don't think I know anything about garbage, except you put it out on Wednesday nights. <laughs> Websites that go belly up. What did you call them again? Vacant buildings. Right, vacant buildings. And you know what a vacant building is to me, Frank? Garbage. Exactly. You see, I can visualize what you do, because the internet is built by humans. And if there's one thing humans make, is waste. I invest in waste. You manage waste. All that other stuff about networks and backbones, forget it. I'm no doctor. Waste management, I understand. But there is one thing I don't understand, gentlemen, and that's a company without profits. Investors need to see black on the bottom line. Not a problem. We'll be in the black in 18 months. <sighs> you know, if I invest, I need to see profits within one year. Now, come on, it'll hardly be operational by then. It's a deal breaker, Josh. We can do it in a year. Don't say it unless you can deliver. No, we can do it. Josh? Well, I'm, uh, thanks. Uh, well, I I'm strictly the technology side, but Frank wouldn't say it if he couldn't do the numbers. Good. Eat. <laughs> How's the steak? Mm. Cut it with a fork. And the shrimp? Tumor free, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> You're a funny guy, Josh. Now, there's one last item, and that concerns Peter. Since it's my money, I want somebody managing it I can trust. So Peter comes on board as the CFO. Not a problem. No way. <laughs> Don't you think we ought to have somebody with some accounting and some business management experience? It's true. Do you have any experience? I studied business in college. I think I can balance the books. Well, that's good enough for me. How about you, Josh? You know, Mr. Arnold, we just met. Maybe we ought to just take a step back and think about this a minute. Josh, my father always told me, too much thinking makes you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I could suck in that. Well, I think that went pretty good. Do you? Sure, <laughs> why not? What are you doing, Frank? I'm going home. It's late. It's not what I'm talking about. 
Look, I negotiated the best deal I could. I mean, what do you expect? They're gonna give us the money with no strings Why attached? Why don't you just pull down his pants and kiss his ass? I was trying to make it work. What's your problem, anyway? My problem is that these people, they don't even know what we do. I mean, they deal in waste management. Come so? On. So we don't have anything in common. Yeah, we do. Money. Oh, come They've on. got it, and we need it. So we close the deal. Yeah, but at what price? Josh, when no one else is bidding, any price is a good price. It don't look like we just came from a funeral. This is not worth celebrating, all right? Look, if you want to walk away, we'll walk away. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it, it's, it's not a perfect fit. There's no such thing as a perfect fit or a perfect opportunity, but what we do, Josh, is we take this imperfect opportunity and we make it work to our advantage. Well, it's just not that easy, man. You don't turn chicken shit into chicken salad, okay? That's all I'm saying. Screw chickens, man. I just want to make lemons and turn them into lemonade, okay? Now, are you with this, or what? All right. Okay, maybe we should finish this tomorrow. No, oh, keep going. You sure your eyes are filling up with sand? No. I'm awake. So does Frank become Bill Gates or something? <laughs> Well, you gotta be patient. Okay. Frank and Josh dive into their work with all the enthusiasm and energy of a new startup. I mean, they got long hours, late dinners, hardly any sleep. In fact, things are looking pretty good. I mean, their burn rate is low. They even get lucky with a couple of clients. Frank's able to move back into his, you know, high living apartment. Josh moves his family into a Manhattan loft. They're finally back in the game. Or so they thought. A couple of months pass, and while Frank is working at his desk, Peter walks into his office. Frank. Yeah. Can I talk to you for a minute? Oh, sure. Come on in. Peter, I haven't even had my coffee yet, and you're closing the door? <laughs> well, it's just better to do this alone. Eugene has this idea that he wants me to run by you about adjusting the business a little. What exactly does that mean? He wants to turn Phoenix into a holding company. And you understand that term, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like a, a parent company which holds several other companies, but we don't have several companies, Peter. Right. But he does. OK. So we're a holding company. So I can tell him you're, you're cool with that. Is there a downside? Well, there's an additional accounting, but uh, I can deal with that. You're the CFO. And if it's okay with you, it's okay with me. Okay, so I'll pass it by you as soon as I have it all worked out. Sounds great. Oh, and by the way, Eugene wanted me to tell you how much he appreciates the way that you and uh, Josh have gotten the place up and running so fast. He's authorized bonuses for you both. Really? That's great, man. I could totally use that. <laughs> yeah, great. Hey, you want to have lunch? No, I can't. I'm on my way to meet with a potential client. That's the second one this week. Who is it? No way. The last time I opened my mouth, we didn't get it. But I will tell you, if we get it, it's a big one. Big is good. Big is better than good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Vagabondo in uh, 45 minutes, okay? Just don't worry about that. I'll explain to you when we get there, all right? Josh, 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 just get there, all right? Please, would you please? Thank you.
Yeah, so what's up? Good morning, Frank. Morning. Some coffee? Yeah, please. Good. You want anything else? How about you, Josh? No, I'm all set, thanks. Have some toast. I don't want any toast. Yeah, have some toast. I don't want any toast. You know what? Give us two cinnamon toasts, but for him, don't give him any butter, OK? Not so fast. I've talked to you about a business thing, and I want to do it calmly, because I know you have a tendency to panic. But there's no need to panic. Not at this point. That's reassuring. Peter told me this morning that he's turning us into a holding company. Are you listening to me? Yeah. We're turning into a holding. Thanks. Thanks. We're, we're becoming a holding company, so what? Do you even know what one is? Yeah, what, it's a quiz? It's like when a big company takes other businesses and holds them under their umbrella. Right, very good. That's good, Josh. Yeah, they're consolidating their other businesses and they're turning us into a holding company. Uh-huh. You don't get it, do you? Josh, I think we're being turned into a laundromat. Yeah, I thought they were in the rubbish business. What is with you, okay? What? You know, I just checked. you know how much money we have? I have no idea. 900. Nine? How did we go through all that so fast? 900,000, Josh. That is not possible. Where'd that come from? I don't know. And I don't want to know. Question is, what are we going to do about it? Nothing. We, we don't know anything about it. We haven't done anything wrong, period. What? We know the books are dirty. And Peter's giving us a bonus. Why is he doing that? Because, because we deserve it. Oh, we deserve it? Yeah. Or to keep us quiet. How about that, huh? Look, Frank, come on. You're, we're making good money. I'm, I got my family. You're living large again. We don't have a problem. Come on. The problem is we could be in some very deep shit right now. So what's right the alternative? You go to the cops and then you're back living with your parents again. It beats living in a jail cell. You got a better idea? Yeah, we do nothing. Oh, well, that's good for three to five. Look, Frank, like I said, technically, we didn't do anything wrong, OK? Finish your coffee. I'm going back to work. So, so just like that, huh? Business as usual. Well, on second thought, we should probably get out of life insurance policy. What? What, you think I'm stupid? <laughs> no, I never said you were stupid, Josh. Eugene said that. <laughs> Tom, can I get a check? Yeah. Dad. Oh, I must have dozed off. What time is it? Did I miss the weather? Or yes, you did. Well, how'd it go today? Okay. What's wrong? Now, why do you think something's wrong? I'm your father. It's nothing I can't handle. Is that all I get? No, no. You get this. Oh, thank you. Thanks for the loan. No problem. And this is for not telling mom. What did you do, win the lottery or what? Kind of. Me and Josh got bonuses. Oh. So what do you think, you like it? Yeah, it's very nice, very nice. You can play movies on it. Well, I'd take your mother out if I want to see a movie. What did you do to deserve this bonus? Well, I guess they like the way Josh and I run in the company. Oh. Well, congratulations then. Thanks. Hey, Dad, let me ask you a legal question, hypothetically. Yeah. If, uh, if someone's messing with a company's books, but the owner of the company doesn't know that someone's messing with them, could he be in trouble? Well, it depends. I mean, if he doesn't know, that's fine. But if he suspects something and he's an officer in the company, that definitely implicates him. Hmm. Why? Am I wrong? Oh, no, no, no. I was just, I was talking to a friend of mine at lunch. He works on Wall Street, and he was... He's, you know, telling me a story, that's all. Mm hmm Well, if your friend wants some legal advice, advise him that people that cook the books generally get burned. I mean, do you see my point here? Yes, yes, I do. But like every client, they're trying to put 10 pounds of manure into a five-pound bag. This is a weed. You know what? I am absolutely done with this. Be my guest. What's wrong with you? Don't ignore me, Frank. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know you were talking about You signed off on this? What are you talking about? Don't, please, I know you, Frank, I, please. Josh, what are you talking about? Where are you going? Josh, what are you talking about? Ask Peter, all right? What does Peter have to do with anything? Look, this isn't funny, Frank. It's funny, Josh, you get over here, Josh. Josh, stop right now. 
Frank says he knows nothing about the tobacco account. What tobacco account? I closed on a smoke deal. A major smoke deal. We agreed no porno, no guns, no tobacco. We agreed to that, didn't we? The numbers were too good to pass up. What was the offer? I don't care what the offer. I don't care if it's 10 grand a site. It's more. It's more than 10 grand? Potentially five times more. We're gonna need to rethink this, Josh. Fuck it. He'll come around. You know, Frank, I like Josh. But he's starting to get in the way of business. He'll be fine. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Last time I waited too long, you boxed up first. This time, you can turn out the lights, okay? <laughs> Josh, I don't know what your problem is. You know, not only are you a whore willing to sell out your best friend for for an Armani suit, but you do it and you make it seem like I'm the problem. You're the one that said we can make this work. Yeah, well, I guess I was wrong, okay? Josh, enough, okay? I need you. Yeah, well, it's a little late for that, isn't it? You really think they're gonna let you just walk away? I'm not washing money and I'm not selling tobacco to kids, okay? My father died of lung cancer, Frank. You never told me that. I also got a kid who looks up to me. I'd like to keep it that way. I heard you, Josh, I heard you. I will think of something, all right? But we are in a dog eat dog situation, okay? And we need to make sure that we don't get eaten. Hey, it's Frank. Uh, is Peter in his office? No? Do you know when he's gonna be back? Hi, I'm Frank Costello. I spoke to you on the phone. Sure. Let's see. You have uh, signing authority on this account? Yes. Then I just need some uh, identification. Okay, uh, how would you like that? Hundreds? Well, an amount this large, I'll have to place a special order. It'll take a couple of hours. Okay, when, uh, when you close? Four o'clock. See you at 3.30. Very good. Thanks again. Sure. May I speak to Peter, please? What's going on? Uh, Easy. Fuck. Good morning, Frank. What's going on? How should I know? 
So, Peter, <laughs> what's going on? You'll find out. Just relax. Help yourself to a drink from the bar. Listen, Peter, if, if it's about the tobacco account thing, I mean, I'm, I'm sure that we can work that out. Yeah, Peter, I mean, Josh was just kidding, <laughs> weren't you, Josh? Right, I mean, all the time, I'm just... Shut the fuck up. to know. Pedro! <laughs> oh. 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 I'm oh. sorry, my mistake. No! no. Oh. Oh. I asked the question, see? 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 Frank, we can do this the hard way or the easy way. The choice is yours. Well, I always say, why make it hard when you can make it easy? Be careful. Your life is not worth the trouble you have caused me. Where is my money, huh? What is he talking about, Frank? Uh, he doesn't know anything about this. Josh doesn't have anything to do with anything. I ask again. Where is my money, huh? Don't worry, it's safe. In a safe? No. What he means is, he has it. In a safe? It's safe. That's what I said, in a safe. I think I'm gonna throw up. Where's the money, Frank? My father has it. He's lying. He's lying! He's lying! Uh, Enough! I swear. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Is that real? There's one way for sure to find out, my friend. Wait. I need a phone. Call your father. Tell him Josh is coming by to pick up the money. Yeah, yeah, I'll go. Make it convincing, or we shoot Josh. What? Uh, uh, hi, Jane. It's uh, Frank. Is uh, my father there? Do you know when he's going to be back? No, that's OK. I'll, I'll just call back. Thanks. You too. <laughs> yeah, he'll be back in 20 minutes. OK. Peter. Drive Josh over there. Call us from the street. For Frank's sake, don't screw this up, Josh. Josh, I can't believe you got me into this! Fight him back like a man, man! I should blow your balls off. But I'm feeling good today, huh? How good? Very good. I want you to prepare your pants, huh? What? You heard me. Pee-pee. Do it. You're kidding. Either you pee pee or I blow them off. Hmm? Okay, okay, okay. I can't, this is really hard with you standing there. I can't. You need some privacy? Got all day, man. I want to hear it. I want to hear that scream, man. Yellow, man. You gotta drink at least eight glasses a day. Ah! <laughs> you act like a boy. I treat you like one. Now sit down. This never should have happened, man. That's obvious. How would I know they would do something so stupid? They also know too much. That's not my line of work. What if the money isn't there, huh? 
Frank, tell Roberto he'll get his money. Oh, you'll definitely get your money. Uh, I better get my money, man. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, if you need me for anything, I'll be in my office. Uno, due, tre, quattro! Surrounded. Give it up. Get your hands up. Hey, put your guns down or I kill Mr. Frank. We can't do that, amigo. You let him go and we'll parlay. There's no way out, Roberto. Let my lawyer handle this. He'll have us out by this evening. Don't shoot. I give up. <laughs> Shot him in the back. Is there any other way for loyal licking cowards to die? Listen, Mr. Frank is next. I shoot him unless you back off. You're in a heap of trouble, boy. That where you gonna go? Get up. I want a plane to Cuba. We can't do that. It's a Republican administration. Well, then I want political asylum. I'm a Cuban refugee. No problemo. Just put out the gun. Well, somehow I don't believe you, amigo. This is your last chance, Roberto. Please don't hurt my son. Your son? Your son has no balls, man. Look at him, no balls. He pee-pees in his pants. Someone get him a diaper, man. Right here, bro. Josh. I never meant to be a whore. Huh. Could have fooled me. <sighs> me too. Dad. You couldn't even make lemonade. One, two, clear. We were just talking. Then all of a sudden, he passed out. Is he going to be OK? Hopefully. OK, let's get him an IV. We'll get him out of here. This place makes me sweat. Yeah, let's worry. Where am I? Where do you think you are? I had to talk to Josh. Oh, 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 Frank, was not so fast. You know what happened? You remember being in the steam room? Frank, you had a heart attack. You passed out and fell, you hit your head pretty hard. You remember any of that? Kind of. How's your vision? Any blurriness? How did I get here? By ambulance. If you want to blow by blow, the paramedic is right outside. You get some rest. I'll be right back. Frank, this is Emily. She's the paramedic who got your heart pumping. <laughs> hey, Frank, how's the bump? Don't I know you? Frank, let me just take a look. So, you're the paramedic that saved me? It's no big deal. I mean, it is for you, but it's my job. Hmm. How are you doing? Fine. I'm just trying to decide if I'm happy to be alive or if I wish I was dead. I would recommend life. I think we're all going to die soon enough. Easy for you to say life is. Frank, I'm going to have them come in and give you something to help you relax. So, 
So you probably hear this all the time, but I, I feel like I should do something to repay you. Uh, well, we don't accept tips, so. Mm. What about dinner? Dinner we can do. Yeah. When you're feeling better. Just not sushi. I don't eat raw fish. The Anne White House was opened in June of 1929. There was no formal Over the next few days, while he covered, Frank became more and more depressed until he finally got to the point where he stopped eating. He was transferred to the psych ward where he spent seven weeks. Web boards, never funded. When Frank was finally released, he thought about starting his life over. He also had Chinese dinner with Emily. And it wasn't long after that that they fell in love. And as for Josh, well, let's save that story. talking, I'm telling you to stay in there. Hey, sweetie. She's in the bedroom. Oh. How are you doing? Fine, but I don't think we're going to make it. How are you doing? How close are you? Every few minutes. Okay, let's get on the stretcher. Is the car right up front? It's OK with Jeff and Emily. Why not? My wife might even let you use the siren. I could use some company. Cool. Danny, give mommy a kiss. All right, wear your seatbelt. I think this is the first time I've seen you in uniform. You're sexy, huh? <laughs> Let's go. Oh! Oh! Hey, okay. Oh! How things at the diner, Jack? It's not a diner. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. Internet cafe. There's a difference. They both sell coffee. Yeah, well, we don't do fries, OK? You know, to be perfectly honest, I forgot you were in a classy establishment. <sighs> so how's our old friend Stanley? You never liked Stanley. Well, as I recall, neither did you. Although you did like his money. Are you two ever going to stop? Enough is enough. I just let me have my baby in peace. I am taking some of your advice, though. Really? You're taking some of my advice? I'm turning lemons into lemonade. Did I say that? <laughs> I think it's just gas. Nice pen, Frank. Legend has it that the wood from this pen was made from Noah's Ark. You expect me to believe that? Well, didn't you hear me just say it was a legend? You know, Jack, everyone has a story. Even you. <laughs> 